And, and as before we begin, he's going to start to press record because it's going to be edited anyway. Right, so we are rolling. And Speed. we're rolling now. And today's date is actually February 1st, 2014. Can you believe that we're already in 2014? And here we are in downtown San Diego at the Black Film Festival. Again, February 1st, downtown San Diego, 2014 in the Gasland. We have a special guest coming all the way from NYC. I got to say that again, all the way from NYC where it's cold, but it happens to be nice and warm here in San Diego. Yay. <laughs> and she's going to give an introduction of herself, of what she has been doing over the years and why she is here today. Please. Hello, I am Brooklyn Ford, as in Brooklyn, New York, Brooklyn Ford. That's your um, real name? <laughs> that's my moniker right now. So okay. Lynn Ford is who I am. All right. And so, since I'm from Brooklyn, Brooklyn Ford. Sure. Um, I'm a writer, screenwriter, and a filmmaker now, a producer. So what I've been doing over the past few years is uh, writing screenplays, writing screenplays, <laughs> and uh, selling my book, Lies of Blue. Um, I had the opportunity to, in 2012, not only come to San Diego Black Film Festival, but also to go to the Cannes Film Festival. I was accepted to the Producers Network in Cannes, so I got to go to that, which was amazing. Um, still writing, and I just completed a documentary called Grinding, which is on the life of the iconic writing team, the Poindexters. So they have tons of gold and platinum plaques in their house. We use that as the backdrop for the documentary. So that got screened here at the San Diego Black Film Festival this year, as well as my short, Lies of Blue. Hold on, hold on, because you got a rap sheet that just goes and goes and <laughs> goes. the right word, rap sheet. Writer, writer. screenwriter, writer. director. A little bit. Did you say author? Yeah, author. That's and author. you are an author, so you have a, a book as well published. You know, that's a lot of accolades that you have. And that's a wonderful thing that you are now putting all that in film so that it can reach a lot of audiences. What made you get started with your writing? What made you want to make go from the jump between a writer, author, into cinem uh, cinematography? What was that? Um, I've always written plays when I was a kid. That was something I used to do in my whole neighborhood. We knew that I was famous for that. Um, always wrote poetry, so writing had always been something that I did all the time. Um, in 2003, I wrote Lies of Blue, and it took me until about 2006 to get it done. In 2009, I ended up really releasing the book after having it properly edited and a nice book cover and all the other professional things you need if you're going to go and release your own book. And uh, my intention from the time I wrote the story was to make it into a movie. So you knew yeah, this was going goal. to be a movie. That was the goal. I wrote it. I wrote it so that I would have a book, so that I would have enough intellectual property already under my belt so that it couldn't get stolen. And somebody Absolutely. say, oh, you know, this is similar to your story. No, there's already a book out for Lies of Blue. So if you look at screenplay, you'll know where it came from. Absolutely. And Lies of Blue, is this about someone that you know? Is this a fictitious character? Is this about yourself? Uh, let's see. Legally, um, <laughs> we have to say... It is a fictitious character, right? The story is allegedly about our protagonist, whose name just happens to be Lynn Ford. Mm. I see. I see. So there is some truth. The plot gets a little bit thicker. The plot and, thicker. well, let me ask you this, because you've done so much, what's next? Where are you going next? Where do you see yourself? Um, this past summer, I shot a web series. Eight weekends in the summer, I shot nine episodes of a web series called The Gray Area. And it's a story about love. And the tagline is, love is not always white or black, there's always a gray area. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're in the middle of uh, post-production for now. And I just see myself as um, hopefully one day being able to be the next Shonda Rhimes. I'll be the first Lynn Ford though. I won't be the next Shonda Rhimes, but I aspire to be as wonderful and as great as she is. Well, see, there you go. You must have some kind of role model. There's always a projection. You're not the first, but you are sure 
going to take everything that you got and make something great and positive out of that. And we're looking forward to seeing more of that. Before we close out, I'd just like to say, what would you like to tell your audience, your followers, inspiring uh, professionals like yourself who are saying to themselves, how do I get started? Maybe you can even give your contact information. How do you reach a person such as Lynn Ford? How do you come in contact with Eliza Blue in person? Easy. So reach me is www.lizablue.com. So and um, phone number 212-330-8019. I made it a point yesterday when I was here that I networked with everyone here in the VIP room. And filmmakers came upstairs and they all kind of sat in their own little clique and I forced them to have to talk to each other. I got up and started talking to everybody and made everybody talk to somebody else. Why? Because it's all about networking. So the biggest thing I can tell you to do is uh, learn your craft. If you're a writer, learn to write. If you're a filmmaker, get behind that camera, learn the techniques and the skills, but you have to network. If you don't network, you know, you can have the greatest product on earth, and if nobody knows about it, then it doesn't exist. So that's what I would say, is just get out here, work hard, learn your craft, learn your skill, do the dog one thing, but you gotta network. Got it, got it. Networking is so important in whatever industry, wherever you are in life, uh, at whatever point. So let's take that mental note and let's make it something practical. Lynn, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you I've known you for more than uh, at least a year plus because I met Lynn the first time last year and I was very impressed and I'm still impressed and I expect to see a whole lot more work from her. So Lynn, we're looking forward to seeing more from you. This will not be our last interview. Stay tuned as we continue forth with our filming in our interview sessions. I'm your host, Mr. Wayne E. Brown, and see you soon. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Thank you so